you doing? Just chilling, doing a bit of a dance? Sure. You know, they're not done quite yet, dude, but um, come back another time. Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Amplified and today we have a super duper awesome task to get on with today. I am pumped and excited because this means it opens up my episodes to building a lot more different things. Mostly to do with this hotel which, which is why I'm starting over here. We have this beacon which uh, will get changed from grey to a different probably better, nicer colour. Although, it doesn't look too bad, kind of matches the night sky pretty well. Hey Zumble, what are you doing? Just chilling, doing a bit of a dance? Sure. Um, but yes, this thing here now! I know that I mentioned ages ago and I, I put a book into Mumbo's Redstone Consultancy um, asking him to do this, but Mumbo is a busy guy and one of my patrons actually came to me with a awesome, awesome design for a new elevator. And it's so, so simple, and I really like it, and I actually think I prefer it to this design, although this design may work in one of the newer updates. Um, I believe it does. Someone told me it does. Um, I'm not quite sure, though. Um, but yeah, it kind of sucks. Like, if I, if I stand here and press this one, it doesn't quite work. So I, I say that, it's probably going to work now. Nope, it didn't actually work. Yeah, it, it's, it's broken, basically. Um, but yeah, I've got a super awesome design for this to do, and that is what we're going to work on today. So I'm excited. It's uh, quite a lot more simple than this one, so it won't be as complicated in the back because, oh man. But I'm a little bit sad that I have to get rid of all this redstone because I did this, like, I don't know, it's been ages on this elevator. But I do need one that works. That will mean that we can start working on the floors and things like that. So I'm pumped and excited. I hope you guys are too. Remember to leave a like if you do enjoy me doing a little project like this and uh, yeah so I'm gonna get my stuff together and we're gonna get started on this elevator. Okay so let me just tell you guys that this is way more satisfying than I thought it would be getting rid of all this redstone I don't know it's very very easy like this this is taking literally like 100% or 99% uh, less time than it took to make it which is ridiculous um but, uh, and I should be sad. I should be sadder than I am. I'm actually really enjoying just getting rid of things, which is really, really strange. But, um, yeah, we're actually going to have a super awesome design that works, hopefully, in the end. So that'll be nice. I'm also making sure I collect all of the items so that we do get um, them back. And we can actually probably not have to go get any more items. We should have them all here because this is a bigger elevator than uh, the one I'm going to be building. So we should technically have all the repeaters and redstone that we need, but I will double check and make sure that we've got extra things over here just in case. But um, there we are, look at that elevator shaft there that is completely empty, but will be filled with a super duper awesome elevator very, very soon. And I am excited about it because I think it's going to look super epic and it's not even going to fill this space, but it's going to be awesome. Very, very awesome. So before I start building multiple levels, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit how this works. Now it isn't working right now, in fact I actually broke it by pressing the button. So I'll have to fix that in a moment. I think that's because I put a redstone torch down there which uh, lit up that redstone. But I should mention that this is by Dark Solid X on my Patreon server. Um, I'm not sure if it's his original design or whether or not it's a design he found that works actually on a server, possibly. I'm hoping so anyway, at least on this server. It works on the creative server, the creative patron server, so it should hopefully work on this one. But basically what is going to happen is that this right button here goes upwards, so it'll uh, bounce you up here. That one will attract and it'll let you go and land on that floor there. And then this one here will drop you. I don't know if that works. I don't think I've got it hooked up to the bottom one, actually. I might need to do that in a bit. Um, because this one, I might actually have a bottom floor. I might have, like, a basement. Uh, I've wanted a basement for a while, like a casino. But I think it's something I can just add into the design. So I possibly, I'm hoping I haven't done this wrong. And I, I've somehow messed up the fact that I wanted a floor below this. But that's fine. We can work that out, I'm sure. Um, but it's pretty awesome. Now, I would try it and show you and stuff. But I'm not sure exactly how much you need to build uh, before you can show it and stuff. I'm basically a redstone noob. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I just can't, I can't redstone, but I'll try my best to explain what happens. But yeah, that goes up, that goes down. But yeah, as soon as we get a few more of these done, we should be able to try it out and uh, test it um, and show it that it works. We might need a couple of floors down from here. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we need maybe a different, like a different kind of drop, like a drop that goes down loads uh, to the very, very tall, hopefully tall casino in the bottom. Um, but then that will need a different way up, possibly a, um, possibly an ender pearl, 
uh, elevator because uh, you can go really, really high with that, possibly. I don't know. We'll have to work that out in the future. But um, definitely excited about building this. And we've got a whole bunch more levels to go. So I haven't built the whole thing just yet. But you might be able to tell with the tone of my voice. I'm super happy. I'm super, super happy because it works. Um, I had to change the timing a little bit. These ones along here on every level have to be two ticks rather than... A couple of them are four and then the last one was two. Uh, so I've made them all two and that seems about right. So yeah, there we are, we're up with that one. I haven't tried these ones from up from here onwards, but look, I can go up. And if you're wondering what the second button does, this one goes down, which is awesome. And I do take a bit of damage because I'm holding shift because it's just quicker to get down that way. But look at that, we have a working elevator. Ah, I'm so happy, so, so happy. Um, And I'm just gonna finish it off. I've pretty much uh, got nearly to the top. I think I got two levels to go. Which is fine, because as soon as I start, like, I found out that with these with these tasks, you kind of learn it as you go along. And, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to recreate this, like, off the top of my head anywhere else, I don't think. But I am pretty, I'm getting pretty fast with it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, which makes an elevator quite a handy thing to build, because, you know, it's quite repetitive. And every floor is the same, which is awesome. So I'm going to carry on. I think I've got... This is... Oh, no, that's the last level. No, we've got two more levels, I think. And then we should be done. And then we need to get on with the decorating part of it. It is alive! It works! It works perfectly. Look at this. I can go down. Oh, I may not have pressed shift there. Oopsie. Uh, I can go down. I can go down. And then if I want to go up again, I can go back up again, which is nice. And it's super, super easy. Um, I don't think I'm lacking on the server right now. I think it means that it's pretty good. I'm getting 60 FPS as well. Um, and, um, but yeah, it seems to work really, really nicely. Only thing is, it's not exactly the most wonderful looking thing. Now, these are obviously here just, uh, temporarily. I'm gonna actually leave these ones along here as long as they're not, uh, in the way of the design. But let's quickly go down to the bottom, because I think that is... Hmm, maybe, maybe we should go this way, just a quick way. Whoa! Oh, that didn't work very well. I was gonna try and get on the ladder. That didn't, that didn't exactly go to plan. But, um, yeah, so it's not exactly the most beautiful of things, but it is pretty awesome looking, I think. You know, it's quite compact. It does use a lot of leaves, which the other design used as well. Um, I was thinking I could, I could, I guess, get rid of some of the leaves. They aren't all necessary, but I quite like them. Uh, they are on the, the design in the creative server. And, yeah, the only thing I do think I need to do is obviously do these side bits here and here. I think I'm going to try at least do that for a couple of levels, but we are starting to run out of time for the episode because it did take me a little while. I had to troubleshoot a couple at the top because um, the top one has to be a little bit different. And also I did forget a couple of redstone, uh, those two blocks there actually on one level. I forgot about those, but let's actually have a quick look at the redstone. The redstone is very, very simple, actually. Um... And it'll just hooks up to all the different things it should do, I think. And it's looking wonderful. It's very, very nice, compact, easy to make. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I'm excited to do a little bit of design work now. Have a break from the redstone. And uh, let's see if we can make this look a little bit prettier than it is right now. Because this is, this is not a good look right now. Well, guys, I have gone with a practical approach. Yes, look, very simple, but very practical. A nice big drop because if you get up to you know let's say we went up a few levels one two three levels or so um you know you don't have to keep clicking that to get back down again do you so you know you can just go wee like that and then down into the puddle at the bottom and yes i've made it symmetrical because you just have to i guess uh, there's only one thing we need to do now i believe i mean other than making the floors look pretty but we're gonna have to do that floor by floor in the episodes uh in the future episodes when we actually decide what floor each floor will be definitely let me know in the comments below actually that's a really really great idea let me know in the comments below what like what kind of floors can we have like obviously it's a hotel so a lot of floors will have um houses in it and there will be a floor below somewhere i'm gonna i think maybe put a different entrance in perhaps there to the casino uh which will go down to the basement that's where the casino will be possibly on the roof there'll either be a helipad which i'm actually thinking about putting on a mountain top instead um and there will be um perhaps um hot tubs on the roof and then also you know we've obviously got the rooms that have to go up top but you know i'm gonna need a, a better so, something, something different, you know, perhaps. I mean, I guess it needs a restaurant or something like that. I'm not sure that can be in the casino area as well, possibly. I'm not quite sure. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you think should be added to the hotel. Obviously, we're going to sort out these these floors and stuff. These ones obviously aren't, aren't for anything in particular. I mean, I could put something along in the walls here, like a restaurant, perhaps. Uh, if you guys have got some cool ideas like that. And also, we have got had customers uh, queuing up. 
Uh, this guy at the moment, you know, he's trying to buy a ticket, you know, he's got quite fancy clothes on, so maybe he wants kind of a penthouse suite, you know, they're not done quite yet, dude, but um, come back another time and it'll be fine and uh, all ready and, and lovely. But uh, that is it, basically, so I'm going to get some banners which will indicate whether or not these go up or down, so it's clear for everybody that comes along, and uh, we'll also probably have to tidy up, I think I need to tidy up this area here. Yeah, I do need to add some leaves on this side a little bit, because there is something missing. But um, yeah, that's looking awesome, so let's get the banners and hopefully make it clearer which floor is which. Okay, so now we're actually going to make the banners. Now, I believe that the first banner will have to be like this. No, wait a second, like... I think I need to move these up one. Like that, okay, so that is down. So the, this, this one here, oh, I mean obviously not on this floor, we don't really need it on this floor, but that will be down, like so. And then, for up, because it's very, very difficult, because obviously we're only using the top half of the banner, we're going to have to do this. So we're going to get the banner, like so, and then I think we're going to make a diamond. And then chop off the bottom of it, like this, I believe. Yeah, look at that, perfect. So, uh, that's pretty awesome, because both the bottom halves are white, so they, they both look the same, back down there. Um, they cover up a little bit of redstone, which is quite nice as well. And uh, they, they line up pretty nicely, I think. I don't know if there's a better way of doing that. If there is, let me know. And then, obviously, we're going to need numbers. Now, I think uh, the numbers will have to just go, like, here, perhaps? Maybe here? Maybe on both sides to keep the symmetry? I'm not quite sure. I kind of like it being just one side, because it, it would look a bit weird being both sides, right? I'm not quite sure. But um, I'm going to make a load of numbers. I'm not quite sure how many floors there are. I'll have to count. And um, I think it's like eight floors or something ridiculous. But uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. And hopefully this will be a nice working elevator to end the episode with. Okay, well, let's just say the banners took forever. We now have them, though. They are working perfectly. We're doing that with them there. And then we go up and then we put them down again. And uh, yeah, we just keep adding them. I do need to definitely add some lighting to this because the lighting isn't brilliant. But I think that that's, that's probably the best place where the four should be and where the number should be in general on these so uh, definitely let me know what you think about them being there i think it's okay the numbers look pretty good um i went with the numbers with the white border on them just because i think that they look a little bit better a little bit less chunky and they stand out quite a lot more against the kind of dark area because it is quite dark i definitely need some lighting somewhere along the lines uh here i hope that i've got enough numbers banners i think there's only one more floor yes there is only one more floor we'll add these ones anyway oh don't do that one there though that's the wrong banner no nope. please go in the right place go in the right place but there we are that is the last banner to add and also you may have noticed i didn't think i mentioned this before but i've actually made this uh some uh some medical as well uh this this robot here wasn't wasn't here uh, neither was the piston that doesn't do anything um but i've done that on every every single one of them just because it just I don't know, I feel like it which makes it look better, it's more pleasing to the eye. And uh, this one down here looks really, really good because it's got a lot of lighting on it. But um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy with it. I think it looks awesome. It took so long to actually make it though. Uh, I did think it would take it... Uh, less time than the one before, but it probably took about the same amount of time, sadly. But anyway, that is all we have time for this episode. Definitely leave a like if you have enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit of a technical thing you don't see very often on my channel. But uh, I'm really, really happy with this, and that means that we can get on with the hotel. Doing some room designs, doing some casino designs and stuff like that. As well as the other stuff we're doing at Hermit Thrills and things along the way as well. And also pranks. Pranks will be uh, be around as well. I'm not sure if there's going to be too many before Minecon, obviously. Uh, I will be going to that if you don't know already but that is it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time see ya